Boys, what the fuck is going on? And welcome back to another episode of Road to Show. We are here with the man himself, Riz Straining Order. Let's go. Tell him about your um, Riz Straining Order. <laughs> it's Riz Straining Order. Huh? The Riz was too powerful. Yeah, too powerful. I don't know what's happened there, but you know, it happens in life. <laughs> Where did bro get that bottle from? Oh, it's a Fanta bottle. It's Fanta. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you like this is the kind of bottle that like you know. Yeah, it is a bit goofy, but no, no, they do like. Yeah, those are, those are, what? They use it as like a you know. <laughs> no, not as the what? dildo. Oh right, I was like, what is this? No, I meant like they use it as like it looks like one of them bottle like from like a crack bottle. No, they oh, use it like a bong. Oh. No, they use it like as a bong. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it doesn't. Come on, you know me, I was used to be on them streets. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. That's how When have you ever worn navy bottoms to the gym? <laughs> no, I, I literally, I've never worn these, uh, literally, I've, worn I've these. had these packaged up in the Gymshark package for the last, literally, <laughs> two, two months. I, I, I got literally, these. and I've never seen this guy wear navy, and then we look fucking matching prisoners, for fuck's sake. No, I've got a black top. I've got a black top. Oh my I've, oh, god. Oh fuck! Joel! 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 I'm not even lying, yeah? Oh my oh, god, god, this guy, he does it every time. He's such what do you a mean every time? You literally always copy me, oh. mate. Oh my god, <laughs> matching navy bottoms. This guy's taking the ball. Oh, what kind of shoes you got? Oh, you got blacks, so I got white. Yeah, okay, that's okay. Just fucking leave that on, please. No one wants to see this guy's fucking small biceps. Oh, right, I've already taken pre-workout by the way. I've got what, a little delivery for you. Jacked, have no, you. I've already taken. No, 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 it's on the floor for you. Just move out of the way of that cotton caterpillar. Cotton the caterpillar. Fucking look, you got a choice oh, of Jack or Alpha Pre. What do yeah, you want? I ain't taking Take Jack. Take Jack. No, 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 it doesn't no. have thingy in it. Nah, but I'm, I'm just like from your previous experiences, I'm scared. Nah, yeah, mate, you're the one who's got a restraining order. What code can I use to pick up out any of my protein products? Uh, you can go onto the Tombu Lifts Instagram, use the link in my bio, code Tombu. Or you can use the link in the description, you can use code Jada for fit. Code Jada fit for the win. If you use code Jada for fit right now, I actually win my bodybuilding show in 27, 28 weeks. So go use it, boys. Bro, if you fucking spill that. Oh my god. Speaking, because you got the prison outfit on. You were, like I'm just looking at you right now in the prison outfit. It's making me think. If you actually went to prison, I'd be. I look hard as fuck. No, you. No, no, no. You get bumped the first day. What? You'd be. So, look at the. Look at the like the nice smooth skin. <laughs> so, what, what am I meant to no, do about that then? Bro, bro goes you know in what? There. I'm gonna start fucking scratching my face. Bro, bro goes in there and literally first day in, someone someone up to him. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. I'm feeling romantic. <laughs> I've never seen yeah. that. <laughs> That's actually someone coming up to stop. What are you gonna say? To what are you gonna say? That pussy belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> then they straighten them all of it in one all go. All of it? Yeah, all of it in one go. Wait, yeah, look at that. That's gonna be cement in the mouth. Alright. What the fuck? Not that little new whole thing, mate. Oh my god, bro with his fucking B Tech Fanta. Let's go, whole thing. Now nah, for real, that's like the work. Joel, this is like. We've done this two years ago. I'm, I'm over it now. What? Dry scooping. So what are you gonna do? Put it in a cup when you get in there. Yeah. Alright, alright. New t shirt, new t shirt, new t shirt. Um, I never buy clothes, so this is just drip, strip. What do you have Basic for white t shirt. Got it from Urban Outfitters, yeah? If you're watching this right now, the guy who served me recognised me and he got a photo of me, so he's an absolute legend. So if you're watching this, leave it in the comments and uh, thanks for serving me for this beautiful brand new t shirt. I also bought a hat as well. But it looked absolute shit. Nah, bro, it looked like it's from the thrift store. <laughs> I, mean, I thought it was like one of them. I'll, I'll put a picture of me wearing it. I thought, oh, if I buy this hat, you know when you see these sick guys who just walk around, like you know the guy in the gym, the the guy who wears the thingy, yeah, yeah, the yeah. guy who does the brand. Mm -hmm. It's like him. Like you see the sick guys wearing their little hats, and you're like, oh, they look so sick. Like, no, it on. just needs to know, like be no, worn I think in a bit. The reason why I look stupid with hats on, right? It's because I'm bulking at the moment. My face is fat, <laughs> so like the hats here. So normally most people's head, they get smaller yeah. when it gets down here. Because my face is fat at the moment, it's like all stingy here. And then my head gets bigger. I look like a fucking quagmire at the moment. So, yeah. So I actually said that. So I look, but look at this picture. So put on Instagram of me the other day. I literally look like quagmire. Look at this picture. <laughs> Tell me I look like quagmire. Let's go train push. All right, giggity giggity. Right, boys. Welcome to this section of the YouTube video where we are doing a voiceover and we are getting straight into the action. Here is my first top set on the Cybex Incline self-converging machine press and we are touching a weight that we have never touched before. This is 230 pounds and look at the fucking control on this man. This is how you fucking grow, boys. Two things, intensity and intent. 
If you have intensity and you're throwing the weight around like a complete dickhead, then you will grow a bit, but not as much as you can. If you've got intent and you're doing really good form, you're trying to keep as much load on the muscles as possible and you're taking them through a good range of motion, but you're training nowhere near to failure, you're going to grow a bit, but you're not going to grow a lot. And if you get both of them in the exact same exercises and sets, then you're going to fucking blow the fuck up. Now, really quick side note, what the fuck am I doing in this clip? Why am I doing that with my eyes? I have no clue. I look like I'm about to receive some good sloppy toppy 3000. I just added that in because I thought it was funny. Anyway, so what I'm saying is you need intensity and intent if you want to train hard, if you want to grow, sorry. So here I'm trying to get into this fucking machine, not doing a very good job of it, but I do manage to get in there. So as you're going to see with this set, I'm trying to take my chest to complete failure but I'm managing to keep good form at the same time because obviously I do not want the load to be on my front delts. I do not want the load to be on my biceps. I don't want the load to be on my shoulders because I am trying to get as much tension on the chest as possible. So the only way we're going to do this is with good form. And then once we've got that good form nailed, if we take my chest to complete failure, then you know that that chest is going to be fucking exploding. So that is what it's all about, boys. It's about using the intent and trying to get as much tension on the muscle that you are trying to work as physically possible not about throwing the weight around not about being a dick not about trying to you ego lift trying to use other muscles to get involved to try and lift the weight that you want to lift that's not what you want to do you want to make sure you are loading the muscle as much as you physically can so here is my last set i am going to complete failure here as you can see i might be rounding my back a little bit to get that weight off but that is that's not good that's not good but it can be done but as you can see here i'm trying to just maintain as much good form as physically possible while overloading that chest as much as physically possible okay so next exercise we have sorry i need to burp so free uh, sorry and so next exercise we have three sets of machine not machine of cable lateral raises cuffed now as you can see it said match rep at the start and what that means is if i have three sets and i'm aiming for 20 reps that means i need to get 20 reps on all of them it doesn't matter what weight if the weight changes like it just doesn't matter okay i just need to get 20 reps on all sets so it could be heavier weight it could be lighter weight i just need to get 20 reps so as you see i got 20 reps on that first set and now we're going for our second set but I fall short of 20 reps. So what I do is I will take a little break and then I will continue until we can hit that 20 rep mark. So I finished at 17 and then I did three more reps and I got 20. And I do just want to say in this clip, I am looking fucking big. <laughs> what the fuck? I just want to say I'm looking pretty gassed right here. Look at the chest. Look at the delts. Ah, the arms could do a little bit of work. The biceps a little bit small, but fucking hell, I'm looking wham. And that's what happens when you put in the work, boys, because recently... I've just been fucking on it, honestly. Every single factor has just been nailed, and I just feel good. So anyway, as you can see here, I got 17 reps. I'm having a little rest, and then I'm going to take myself through, and I'm going to try and hit those last three reps that I needed to get. So here we go. One. Nice, J-Dava. Keeping it controlled. Keep your head down. Don't get... Good boy. Good boy. Three. There we go. So that's match rep. Next, we are on to machine lateral raise. Now you're thinking, fucking hell, Joe. You just did four sets of lateral raise. Now you're doing another four sets. Look... My shoulders are a lacking point and shoulders, you just can't have a bigger shoulder. Like who the fuck ever said, oh, Joel, your shoulders are a little bit too big, mate. So at the moment, we're doing a lot of sight delve movements. Now, this machine, I'm not really the biggest fan of how you're meant to put your arms like in the little hold a bit. Like, I don't know, it just gives me a bit of like a pain in my elbow. So I do it my own kind of freestyle way. And I think I kind of feel it a little bit better anyway. And as you can see here, I'm training extremely hard. I'm extremely with intent. And as you can see, I'm just trying to slow down that movement, trying to control the eccentric and then explode on the way up and just make sure I'm keeping all that stress under the delt as physically possible. Now, as you're probably thinking, oh, Joe, it looks a little bit boring training like this. Like you're not going like crazy angry, but that's just what you got to do, okay? Right, now last exercise, we've got overhead tricep extension. Well, this isn't the last exercise. Well, this is the last exercise. So that was why I did for triceps. Sorry, I didn't record too much. Okay, goodbye, guys. Hey, boys, we've just finished push. It was a fucking sick session. I'm pretty sure I've just done a voiceover. So if you enjoyed that voiceover, make sure to leave it in the comments if you liked it. If you didn't like it, and I can do some more of them, but I'll keep mixing and matching. Anyway, we've just finished push. We are at Sainsbury's. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and... I haven't got anything for Sphere, which is actually kind of rare for me. I'm not going to lie to you because I'm actually a pretty good boyfriend. Believe it or not, I'm actually not a massive bellend who leaves stuff to the last minute every single time. But today I have 
So I'm going to have to try and go into Sainsbury slash Argos and find her something. And I feel kind of a dick that I haven't got anything. I literally feel like a massive bell and I literally, I don't like feeling like this. So I remember her saying that she kind of wanted like a loomy alarm clock, which like wakes you up with the sun. So I'm going to hopefully go into Argos now. Hopefully going to have one of those. I'm going to make like a little basket of like her favorite sweets and some flowers and stuff like that. So let's pray that they got one. Okay. So let's go in. Okay, so you what the fuck? I don't know what the fuck's going on there, but I can see they've got a loomy body clock, spark 100 wake up alarm clock for 99 poons, and you can collect it at 9 a.m. tomorrow. So, ordered, ordered, order, 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 order. Oh, fucking hell, I need a piss. I'm gonna. <laughs> I've been on the cocoa shells, but, I don't know, Frosties, they've been calling my name. Look at that fucking guy, he's asking for it. Also, I spoke about this clear way in the last video. This flavor is literally fucking ridiculous. This is my second tub that I'm going through. I finished this one yesterday. As you can see, it's empty. It's just unreal. So if they do still have it in stock, which I'm not sure if they will because it is a limited flavor, then you should definitely pick it up. So link in the bio, code over fit. And now we're gonna try and redeem ourselves from the last video where we did a chug. We're gonna try and chug this down and not spill it all over ourselves, not get it up our nose, and we're gonna try and beat our score last time. So if someone wants to check out my score from last time, and uh, if not, I don't really give a fuck. Let's just chug this fucking fast. We've got MC Mumsy behind the camera. You're about to spectate something that we're doing in the YouTube video. It's a new little segment where I get my protein shake, try and drink it as fast as possible, okay? All right, man? Understood? Mm hmm. Are you excited for this one? Ecstatic. Okay. All right, guys. Just try and just hype me up, man. Get me ready for this one. Cool. Um, do you want to what? <laughs> Actually, take that off. What? I don't want to say that. What? I meant yours. I meant yours. <laughs> what are you about? You said to hype me up. What does that mean? I don't know. You just what? want to get excited about your drink. Oh, I meant like, come on, say, go, Joel, smash it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't put that in there. Don't put that in there. Don't put that in there. I'll, I'll, I'll bleep what you said, oh. but I'll keep it in me laughing because it's funny. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, right. Yeah. right. Down in one, down in <laughs> one, down in one. Go, Joe! 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 Oh. I don't think it'd be last week, boy. Oh, don't go. Alright, <laughs> 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 